I'm not playing Fortnite and doing Fortnite fishing. Thanks for the suggestion, though. All right. First one we have to look at today. In TikTok time, fish TikTok time, is from YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that that did not go as intended. How many koi fish were they trying to put in that pond? That's so... Are there, are there goldfish in there as well? Is that a mixture of koi and goldfish? There must have been thousands. Why would you not have devised a better method? So many of those fish are going to die due to stress. Oh my god, you are so bad. You had one... This is the only thing you're intended to do. What was the plan? How was this supposed to go? They couldn't have moved five feet. I mean, they were on a hill, to be fair. Looks like throw up after eating carrots. Okay, I'm moving on to the next TikTok. That's disgusting. Just a tarp to the water edge or something? Yeah, that would make sense. Oh. Okay. He has a messed up face. Oh, this is a carp. Oh my god. Oh, do you think he got some blunt force injury? Oh, he's a baby? Whoa, carp evolution. Forward facing carp mouth instead of a downward facing carp mouth? Do you guys think that it still ate? Oh my god, wait, there's so many possibilities. Did it adjust its diet because its mouth is facing forward and it could no longer eat off the bottom? Or did this carp live its entire life upwards, scooting along the bottom, sucking like this while facing downwards? There are two possibilities of how it made it to this size, and both are equally interesting. <laughs> Bro, doing, going fishing during Zoom stuff? I actually did that a good amount of times during COVID. I, would, I have good internet connection around me, so I would have my phone with zoom on or whatever and put it in i wear like a shirt with a pocket here put it in the pocket and then go in a stream and do some research take some pictures and all that <laughs> priorities man online school isn't real jesus could that have been louder god that hurt my ears bro they're actually going at it and a fish caught it a fish caught it dip dip Eat I'm sorry, did you bring a toy rod and throw it into a tank at an aquarium? A fish caught it. A fish caught it. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> what, did, what did you think was going to happen when you put a, a lure in a, in, a, in, a, in a bait in a fish tank? What was supposed to happen other than that? How to attract fish quickly. <gasps> Gobies! Itty bitty gobies. Look at them dancing. They can't eat that. Why are they attracted to that? Is it just because it's bright and moving around? They can't eat it. Surely these gobies are aware that that is too big for them. Surely those gobies know, right? We are out here at night in this creek. We just walked through this drain and look what's at my feet. Flathead. A monster flathead. He is huge. Bro, it's I hate... I gotta go to... Maybe I gotta just go to the Delaware River at nighttime and look through shallows because I can never find flathead catfish. They're impossible. Maybe I go tonight. You know what? Maybe I should finish streaming and go to the Delaware River tonight. I don't know. I just... It is very frustrating. I've spent... I mean, I've caught flathead catfish before, but trying to dip net a flathead catfish is difficult. And... Then you have people just fucking wander across a, a giant tiny creek. Like it is not big at all. We just a tiny the creek. Drain and there's I mean, he must have swam up from a river and got trapped during a rain or something. That's crazy. Oh, octopus. Cool. It is a little intimidating, you have to admit. Like, looking at it like this is insane. I mean, it's cute to us because we're big, scary humans, but I feel like this would be sc this would be scary to any sort of creature. This looks like its mouth. It looks like a, a Yoshi or like a Bowser. It looks like a T-Rex. 
the face. Like, this is going to open up and have giant teeth inside of it. Oh, no. Not the mud skipper guy again. Oh. 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 <laughs> this isn't going to work. They're too slippery. <laughs> there's, no, there's no universe where this works. I am shocked that he can even get that close to mud skippers. I think I told the, the story before, but there were mud skippers covering the beaches and one of the beach in Malaysia that I went to, like right by a mangrove forest. And the mud skippers were everywhere running around, but you couldn't get within like 10 feet of them. If you went like within 10 feet of the mud skippers, they all ran in the opposite direction. All of my pictures of mud skippers from Malaysia are from a distance with my bird camera. I didn't get a single picture using uh, like putting them in a tank or something, I don't think. Because catching them, they just run away when they're so far away from you. Why rusty pliers? I don't know. Man. These waters are not safe. Swamp sharks! Oh shit. Was that a shark? That was a bull shark. Right? Was that... Look like a bull shark. Was that a shark? He's digging, he's digging. He's gotta be right there. He does not want to want to come up, bro. And every time he gets I don't know. And the fact that he isn't got got some shark down. Coming up again. Oh, see, got to wait, got to wait. The leader. That's a shark. Seen his tail. Oh, Whoa. Another bang. That is a big shark, dude. Right in the corner of the mouth with that Nocturnal Nation pig sticker, too. Sick. I should, I've never looked at bull shark eye naturalist observations. I imagine the people catching bull sharks are not, uh, big on like iNaturalist and citizen science but that's so cool bull sharks probably come even more inland than we realize we just don't really talk about it too much i'm sure if you looked at like government survey data of bull sharks they probably come more upriver than you would realize if a river near you is not dammed they probably come up into like full fresh water near you Okay, please don't grab and scratch wildlife. <laughs> Look at him shaking his head. He's like, God damn it. No, don't do that. Dude, stop petting the sharks. Are they? Oh, they're immobilized because they're on their back. When sharks get put onto their backs, they become immobilized. What's that called? Tonic immobility? He's shaking off the tonic immobility. Okay, this is cute, but please don't do it. Please don't touch sharks. And please don't flip them on their back. <laughs> I was trying to find this video. I was trying to show my friend this video the other day because I had seen it. The, the way the pike just it catches, it sees the shiny thing, turn, follow. Pray, 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 pray. I don't think it actually ended up taking the lure, but it's so funny the way the pike just follows perfectly behind it. I don't know why it doesn't <laughs> his face is funny. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't just bite. There's no reason to not. I'm not scared of you now. Oh, this is so much easier. Why did I not think of this the first time? Oh, that was a snake. <laughs> Snakehead. <laughs> oh, I got a fish in there for sure. I saw him. For real. I saw some it must be so nice to just live in an area where you can just stick a dip net into some sewers and catch cool fish. Yeah, no, I saw him flopping around, right? Or am I going crazy? <laughs> Ew! Oh my! Ew! What is that? Is that a fish? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's one of those stick fish. Okay, I've caught these before. Oh, that's a giant one. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. That's oh, it's a whip tail a cat. Right there, guys. Believe it or not. Is this one of those? Uh, is it a whip tail cat? I know he's not moving. Yeah, it's Lacaridae, right? One of the whip tail catfish. Dude, Florida's crazy. Everything that you find in aquariums is just in the freaking sewers. Could always move to Florida for that. Moving to Florida is a cheat code for getting new fish on your life list. Summer all year long. There's a billion saltwater fish to catch. Yeah, Farloella, that's what I was thinking of. Whiptail. You get aquarium fish and all the fresh water. It's a cheat code to go to Florida. I don't know what they're called exactly. I call them stick fish. Gotta be on the lookout for these guys. They Farloella catfish. I mean, look at that next to that. Literally looks like the same thing. All right, there you go with the rest of the keepers. We are on a roll. We, we got, what, like five fish already? All right, let's get back in there and see what else we can catch, guys. So many dead fish, too. That really sucks. Anyone in here? Hello? Oh, a little tilapia. tilapia. Yeah, that's a spotted tilapia. You know what? We'll keep them. I think we'll put them in pond X. We'll save them all, guys. All right, in the bucket he goes. Little spotted tilapia. Oh Catch gosh, the big oh, snakehead. Dead fish in that one. Dead, yeah, look at that. Dead bluegill. Oh, poor guy. What is that? 
What? Wait, what the heck is this? <gasps> what is that? Some sort of cichlid of some variety. Cool. Yeah, it's like literally shooting fish in a barrel, bro. You just have a giant aquarium fish in a sewer. Someone's gotta tell me where these sewers are next time I go to Florida. Okay, bye YouTube. <gasps>